nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult because you're with me. With me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. Up the toys, are you? I am, Ollie. I'm super strong and can pick up all of these toys. Your arms can hold a lot of toys, it's true. But there are other ways to be strong, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. One more twist ought to do it. <laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Look at this. It's an awesome weight rack I just finished putting together. See? You can put the weights on it to store them. <laughs> Lifting weights can make you strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of strong, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! 
Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a king looking everywhere for the most beautiful woman to be his queen. The king had his people search and search to find the perfect queen. Well, guess what? They found her. Her name was Esther. The king was so happy that they found her and they got married. Then there is this guy. His name is Haman. He worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, he had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people, God's people. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't know that Haman's plan would hurt Esther's family and friends. Esther knew she could not let this happen. Esther loved God with all her heart, but going to the king to ask for his help would be scary. She knew she might get in big trouble for going to see the king without being invited, but Esther knew God was with her and that he would make her strong. So Esther asked the king if he would come to dinner. Then at dinner, Esther was strong enough to ask the king to stop Haman's mean plan and save her family and friends. The king said yes! He would save Esther's family and friends. God helped Esther be strong and courageous, and that saved the people. God was with Esther, and that helped her be strong. And God can help you be strong too, because he is always with you. <laughs> and Ali, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you later. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped Esther be strong. And God can help us be strong, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God helped Esther be super strong and do the right thing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? You could say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Using my arms to hold all these toys isn't the only way I can be strong. God can help me be strong on the inside, too. Stay strong, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. In today's story, Esther had to be very brave and go talk to the king, and she did it. She talked to the king and saved her whole family. God is always with us, so we can be strong too. That's why when we ask, who is always with you? We get to say, God is always with me. So who is always with you? God is always, always with, with me. me. Yes, sorry, Miss Mary, I know you were really excited. One last time. Who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, good job. 
The Bible verse that we have been learning this whole month mm. will always help us to remember that God is with us mm -hmm. and wants to help us. It says, we have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32.8. Well, it's my favorite time, so stand up, friends, because we're gonna say that Bible verse one more time, and we're gonna do the motions. So say what we say and do what we do. Are you ready? I'm ready. We, we have the, the Lord our God, God to, to help us. us. Second Chronicles 32.8. Oh, yes. So much fun. Woo, so much fun. Great job. I love it. So can we pray now, Miss Carrie? Let's do it. Dear God, we thank you that you were with Esther and that you helped her to do something that was probably pretty scary. And we thank you that you're with us too. Just thank you for our friends. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Bye, friends. Have a great week. See you next week.